Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to delete system data storage in iPhone. For some users, after updating to iOS 16 or even in iOS 15 version, their system data storage rapidly increases. And you know, if it is under 20 GB, then normally it manages itself since iOS 14 Apple has implemented that feature. And in my case, as you can see, it stays at 12 GB and you know, it goes up to 15 GB and then it reduces based on the usage. So if it is within 20 GB, you don't have to worry about that when you keep on storing more data it will automatically adjust and reduce itself but for some users the system data storage itself you know goes up to 40 GB or 60 GB the very first step that you need to do is put your iPhone in airplane mode turn off mobile data Wi-Fi and Bluetooth from control center and then open up settings application navigate to general then navigate to date and time section here you can see by default it must be in set automatically but here we are going to change it just one year forward you know uh, instead of January 2023 I'm changing it to January 2024 and the very important thing is changing system date and time is not advisable for many reasons it will affect the functions of apps and system services as you can see I navigated back to iPhone storage under system settings by going back and there you can see the system data is still showing the same 12.9 GB. Here I'm going to perform a simple restart of my iPhone. You don't have to perform the restart immediately. Just give you know a couple of minutes time for some users it may take up to five minutes. If you're not seeing any change in your system data then you can perform the restart of your iPhone and then you can navigate back to settings general and then iPhone storage. Here you can see a prompt that says that my Gmail got signed out you know immediately after changing the system uh, date and time settings and here the system data started to reduce that is quite promising and I will be keep on getting the gmail uh, error you know all the other application will will also throw some error after waiting for a couple more minutes uh, the system data storage space you know simply reduced into half it is right now 5.05 GB and it will keep on increasing based on the applications that you use you know open and keep it in the background it is not going to be the problem but for people who really have like 40 GB or 60 GB that happens due to some iOS related software bug the catches and temporary files is not automatically cleaned as Apple designed the way it's supposed to work and it is important to change the system time settings to set to automatically after you know you tried this method and waited for like five to ten minutes and once it's successful go back to the date and time settings and change it back to set automatically that is a very important step and here you can see my system data size you know increased a couple more GB after two plus hours of usage so based on the applications that you use it may increase but it won't be like earlier so without the need for reinstalling the operating system you can fix this problem and this is the temporary workaround till Apple releases an iOS update to address this issue. For more useful iPhone related videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions related to iPhone, you can search our channel to find the answers faster. Thank you and have a wonderful day.